It's early in the morning. I'm about to head to the airport, fly straight to LA. Let's go check out this Joe Rogan experience. Hey guys, so here we are, touchdown. Los Angeles last night here at Santa Monica, now just on the coach line, waiting for my uh, my friend Martin, who's gonna be, well, he's flying now, he arrives this evening. I literally just hired out a, a small scooter, an electric scooter on Uber, and uh, <laughs> got myself down here. It was great fun, we need that in the UK. Tomorrow, just catching up with friends. Day after that, the Joe Rogan podcast. So tune in, you know, get commenting, get sharing. And um, yeah, look forward to it. Excited, big time. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> He's here. Martin's arrived. The Joe Rogan podcast here out day before yesterday. We've just been chilling. And then today is the day where I'm on the podcast. So we're literally here doing a bit of training. But yeah, working on calisthenics and Martin today will master his muscle up. Yeah? Boosh. But super pumped for today. Really, really excited. Get a good training session in, get the endorphins, and then boosh, game time. One to three hours with Joe Rogan podcast. That. Like the literal topic of chain on that. Oh, Too nice, Ash. Too nice. Morning, workout, check. It. So we're just around the corner now. I get there two o'clock, plonk myself down, and we go live. We go live in one to two hours, and uh, yeah, look forward to it. Can't wait. Let's see what um, what comes up. See what questions are asked, and yeah, let's uh, let's get it. So like got lit up. if you click on that photo with me standing on the rock with the dragon, can you notice anything oh, weird about one. that image? Um, <laughs> you got a bird on your back? Gertrude. Who's Gertrude? Gertrude the chicken. So in order to summit the highest mountain in Madagascar, you got to bring a chicken. You, it's, it's tradition. You must take yourself a white cockerel, protect it, keep it alive, and it protects you from the bad spirits and witches how long? I took a chicken. How long are you carrying this chicken around? How many days? Two and a half weeks. <laughs> you know, one funny story actually in the Altai Mountains, it was a Kazakh family. So I'd always try to eat and rest up with them where I could. So a Kazakh family in their sort of hut in the middle of the Altai, rocked up 45 minutes inside, sipping on their uh, chai, their tea, uh, eating whatever they, they gave me. And towards the end, I was like, right, it's been 40, 45 minutes. I need to make a move now. And just as I was about to say that, I looked at the guy, the man of the hut, it was a man and, a, and his wife, a girl. He was looking at me very weird, you know, eyes slightly squinted, uh, slightly closed, like he's thinking of something, you know. He looks over to his wife or his girlfriend then, and he looks back to me, looks back at his wife, and then all of a sudden, right there and then, in hand gestures, offered me, offered me his wife. Whoa. I didn't know what to do, you know. I was, Whoa. the longer one if you're going to walk that distance you've got to do it the proper way yeah i agree with you, you i'm know? glad you think that way mm. but obviously a person that's willing to walk four thousand miles would think that way like, yeah you wouldn't <laughs> yeah. you wouldn't skip on 20 day. miles right. you imagine if you skipped on 20 miles and everybody's like well you did a pretty good job yeah. but actually yeah, yeah. mike over here just did the whole thing exactly the actual yeah. scientific that's one it. he's the real one 